So it is November 1st. That is day one of NaNoWriMo. I was at a shoot all morning, so I haven't actually started my novel yet, but I got home and I went from zero to footies so fast. I haven't even created my Scrivener file yet. I am opening it right now. I don't know what my story's called. I don't know where it starts. I don't even know if I've named all my characters, but I'm starting, so here we go. <laughs> I am really pants in it this year, like way more than I normally do, but I've written about three chapters. They're like shorter chapters. Um, so far, I like everything I've written. I just hope it turns into a coherent story. I couldn't really sleep this morning, so I got up early and actually got some words in before work. So it's barely even day three and I'm already at 5,000. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm sick, but I wrote a little bit at work today on my lunch break, so I'll catch up tomorrow. I am so sorry for the lack of filming. I have been so, <coughs> so sick since I got sick last Wednesday. I, I don't even know how many days have passed, but I wrote like 250 words yesterday and like about 250 words today so I'm down like 10,000 but I'm up like 500. <laughs> I'm still sick. This is a much different video than previous years. <coughs> it's been a really rough week. I hit 10,000 today which is great but I've also never been this far behind ever in NaNoWriMo and I don't like how it feels. Today was my first day being back in the real world after being sick and I surprisingly was able to sneak away at lunch at work and write like 500-ish words, which is not a lot and I have a lot of catching up to do, but I'll get there. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I did not get much writing done today, but I did go to a Hello Kitty party in Seattle at the EMP, so worth it. Liz is being a tourist right now, uh, but we just got to San Francisco for the night of writing Dangerously, which is tomorrow, and we were walking around trying to figure out where we want to eat dinner. I already wrote like 2,000 words almost on the plane, which was awesome, uh, and now we're just looking at this crazy building. Look. Oh my god, it just goes forever. Guys, I was at the night of writing Dangerously tonight, and I was in the prettiest dress in the most amazing ballroom, and I was with all of these great people, and I totally forgot to film my clip there. This is the first year that I haven't done that, and I'm so sad. I don't even know. I just wasn't thinking about it at all. I was writing so much. I wrote like over 3,000 words just at the event, which is like a crazy personal best for me, and just was having so much fun meeting people that I just totally forgot. It is the last day of the San Francisco trip, and it didn't quite hit 20,000 last night. I don't know why I thought I was gonna write back to my hotel. <laughs> Honestly, Liz, I don't know why you even let me think that. But uh, we also didn't write this morning, so we went and got breakfast. But now we are at the airport, and I ordered this Bloody Mary and some mac and cheese. Trip's almost over. Bloody Mary's. We did it. Almost. I am determined to write today, but it's almost 11 p.m. and I haven't managed to make it happen yet. And I still have two loads of laundry to fold tonight. <laughs> so I spend enough time here. I figured I should probably do an update at work. So I'm at Microsoft right now and I had a really good brainstorm session at lunch. I took an hour lunch and I just like worked on some brainstorming stuff and I didn't get any words written, but I'm feeling really good about going home and writing tonight. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can do some catching up tonight. I had a really, really, really good writing day yesterday. Like yesterday was one of those days that is the reason why I write because I wrote like 3,000 words no problem and it was actually fun and I loved it and I'm feeling awesome and I uh, want to write more tonight and it was great and also hi Joe. Oh. You, you falling? No, I got eaten by a hand. Oh, oh, I, it wasn't on screen, that's why. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Do it again. Hand. Yeah, it's but it was like face. this. It was like this. Oh, well, that seems like the cameraman's fault. <laughs> well, I didn't know what I was filming. Well, yeah, because <laughs> it's it's a documentary. You, you never know what's going to happen. You didn't give me a storyboard. You need, I think the scene needs more conflict. <laughs> <laughs> Licked. Don't use Con my writing tricks against me. Conflict. 
All right, it is a beautiful day and I'm here with my coworker Pam and we do this thing called the Creative People's Lunch and even though we spent most of it talking about cosplay. Yeah, uh, I, that, was, that was a little derailment there. Yeah, I wrote like 500 words though after that, so it was a great day. In like 15 minutes. Yeah. Awesome. It is Saturday and my goal is to hit 30,000 words today and I will only be 5,000 behind at that point, if that happens. We'll see, I've been doing some sprints, it's been going okay. You know, I used to really hate the 30,000s, but now I kind of think it's when I feel the most alive. So tonight, I wrote a little, but then it, instead of writing more, I watched Galaxy Quest to get ideas for my novel, and it did not help, but I had a great time. I realized that I have not mentioned anything in this series of clips about what I'm actually writing this year. It just never came up. I'm writing about aliens, which is really sort of outside of what I normally write, and I have majorly changed the plot at least once a week. <laughs> this story is such a mess. I'm currently driving to meet my family for Thanksgiving and it's supposed to be a three hour drive, but I've already been in the car for three hours and GPS is telling me it could be another two to three hours. Traffic is so bad. This is cutting into my writing time so much. So my family has made it a tradition to go out to the ocean for Thanksgiving every year, it's the Pacific Ocean. It's like cold and weird, but we love it. So we came out here to just enjoy the sunset and it's super beautiful and I just really wanted to share it with you guys. This has very quickly become one of my absolute favorite places to write. I got home from my trip to the ocean and I was determined to hit 40,000 tonight, but I just like really wasn't feeling it. And then all of a sudden I was like, I'm doing this. And I wrote 1800 words in like one go, which is the most that I've written on this novel in one sitting. And it was amazing and it feels so good, but now I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I wrote almost 3000 words today, which is not as many as I wanted to write, but still good. And I'm really hoping that I can finish tomorrow because I'm not gonna have that much time on Monday, but I have just shy of 6,000 words left. So tomorrow might be the day <laughs> that I glue myself to the couch until it's done. I did it! I wrote 50,000 words for the 10th time in my life. There were some moments this month where I, well, no, that's not true. I always knew I was going to do it. But there were some moments where I thought it was going to be really hard. But I did it. Here is my little graphy thing. It's green. Oh my god, I wrote like, how many words did I write today? I wrote six, I wrote over 6,000 words today, and my total novel count is 50,471 words. I not only hit 50,000, I also finished the novel. Might have planned it that way, because I did not want to write any more words. But that's it. That's your 10. Thank you and good night. Hey guys, it is day 30 of NaNoWriMo 2015 and I can proudly say that I did not do any writing today because I earned a break. Uh, this has been a really up and down year. This was, I definitely have to say my toughest NaNo yet. I don't know, I'm super glad it's over, but I'm also very, very proud of the accomplishment that I accomplished. And also, I have so many friends, so many more friends than any other year that also completed this challenge this month. And I'm just so proud of everybody. I don't really know what the future of NaNo will bring to me. I'll probably never be able to not do it, but I'm really hoping that I can switch gears and focus more on editing and hopefully share some of this writing with you guys at some point in the future. I'm hoping, I'm working on it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's always a lot of fun to make and I hope that those of you who did NaNo had a great month, and those of you who don't do NaNo, I'll now stop talking about it for another year. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.